So sadly, once again, we are having a short episode today, so I do apologize, but let's get on. Today was tough, but I managed to lift those logs. Now I just have to do the boulder. I said to myself to meet, meet up with G- Gome and pl- play a song together. Today I brought my shamisen to play. I found Gome at the same place I found him yesterday. I'm just gonna start calling him Gome for now on, by the way. Gome, he turned to me with a smile. Hello, Yinchan. Did you bring your shamisen? I took my shamisen out of my. Oh, I took my shamisen, I think, off my back, and played all three chords. Yep. I then sat next to him. There is a song that goes with it, but it is copyrighted, so. Just pretend you guys played a melody. I will hopefully figure out how to put it in the description. Hopefully. I haven't done that before, but I'll try. (laughs) You're amazing, Gomei-san. If you weren't a demon slayer, you'd be a great musician. I giggled and he laughed. You're also very talented with that Zami-san of yours, he complimented. Thank you, Gomei-san. That means a lot coming from you. We then spent the next hour having a normal conversation until it started to get dark. Then I decided to go home. While walking, I thought I heard something rustling in the bushes. I turned around and got into a fighting stance. I looked in the bushes and found nothing. I just, oh, I then continued to walk home, believing it was just my imagination. Master, I have determined where the the slayer you seek is but not her home specifically any time i try to follow my eyes not before i see where she lives that's because because of you you're so paranoid so you put wisteria in a circle around your home it's effective on weaker demons not other moons though but nakimi's eyes are the same strength as a weaker demon But I see where she she comes from daily. That's not enough. What about the girl who who has conquered the sun? Or their leader? I have not found them yet. Check around this area. As you wish. I will find you, Nezuko, Uberashiki, and Yin Lin. The next day, you thought of a new thing you wanted to try. You wondered if you could perform all of your attacks and be more powerful and faster after each of them. You wanted to call it judgment, but there was one problem. You could only do five forms before you felt extremely tired to the point where you could barely see straight and you just hold your balance or couldn't hold your balance. Yin-sama, you're pushing yourself too much. Koga- oh shit, I get the wrong voice. Kogoshiba picked you up bridal style and brought you to the sofa, and Akasa came in with some water for you to drink. After drinking some water, you tried standing up, but fell forward, and Akasa catching you. I have to go back to training. Akasa sat you down once more. You need to rest. You still have the stone Hashira's training stick as well but you won't be able to do it if you can't barely stand up without falling but no buts you need to rest and relax you shouldn't overwork yourself so much you were too tired to argue you eventually fell asleep right after he said that akasa picked you up and put you into your bed he put some of your hair behind your ear then he smiled softly at your sleeping face then, he left your room. Yin Chen is working so hard. She, she shouldn't be pushing herself so much or at all. Dumma whined. As much as I agree with that statement, Yin Sama won't stop. He will come for her and the leader of the Demon Slayers sooner or later. So, she should be at her strongest for her sake. Kogoshibo said sitting down, reading a book. 
Do you really think the move she's trying to do will perform well and <laughs> will be enough? Akasa asked, leaning against the wall. By herself? Absolutely not. With the rest of the demon slayers? Maybe. <laughs> they all have to find a better chance, since we aren't helping him anymore. Doma smiled. That brings up their probability of winning up to a lot more, Kogoshiba said. I'm surprised he hasn't found us yet. I'm sure one of the Biwa woman's little eyes would have been, would have been able to see us by now. Doma looked up at the ceiling with a wondering look. When you both arrive, didn't you smell scent of hysteria? The, do, the two demons thought. Yeah, I did actually. Though I really wanted to see Yin Chen, so I ignored it. Even when it was really strong. Yeah, I smell to the wisteria. It was strong, but not strong enough to stop me. I would have a big. It would, oh my god! It would have a big effect on weaker demons, though. Fogoshibo nodded and looked up. Yin Sama told me when I asked her about it that she placed Wisteria at a certain distance around her home so that he couldn't find her, and weaker demons couldn't pass through. The Biwa woman's eyes wouldn't pass, though. They're too weak. Yin Chen is so smart. That just makes her even cuter. I was standing in front of the boulder again, my fifth day of trying to push this boulder. Don't feel bad if you can't do it, Yin. You're pretty strong already, Tanjiro said, standing next to me. I don't think a goddess such as yourself should be <laughs> attempting this, Zenitsu said. Thanks, guys, but I must. I need to be the best I can. I put my hands on the boulder and then tried pushing it, but it wasn't moving an inch. Come on, move. I just have to get stronger. I can't be weak. If I don't get stronger, then everyone I know, they will... Flashes a part of my past, that, that terrifying night, and I felt so angry. I started scream, screaming as I pushed the boulder, and I was so lost in the moment of rage that I only stopped after I felt Tanjiro's hand touch my hand. I turned to see Tanjiro in his face full of worry. Then I looked behind him and saw how far I pushed the boulder. I saw I move it. I'd say I'd move it more than ex except a couple of feet, I'd say. Yin, are you okay? I've never seen you so mad. It kind of saddened me. I felt bad and hugged him. I'm sorry, Tancho. I didn't mean to make you worry. I let go of him and rubbed the back of my neck. I didn't think I'd be able to push the boulder so much. I saw Inosuke was just standing a bit stiff. You okay, Inosuke? So... Oh, fuck. So cool. That <laughs> was all that came out of his mouth, and I giggled. After eating with all the trainees and playing a song with... Gen oh my god, I said Genya. With Gome, I was walking back home. I stopped when I heard something moving around behind me. Normally, I'd think it was some kind of small animal, but... It seemed happening every time I walked down from the mountain where Gome is training. When I heard it was close enough, I quickly turned around and grabbed it. And it was an eyeball. I freaked out and dropped it. Then I stomped on it. An eyeball was being watched me, watching me for weeks. If a demon knows where I, where I am, does this mean that Kibuchuchi knows where I am? <laughs>